Hi everyone, we're at the Delo Industry Days 2024 in Copenhagen, Denmark, and we're now on the OSK Design booth with uh, Lars Paul Jensen, Head of Defense at OSK Design. Lars, good morning. Good morning to you. Thank you for coming. Thanks for welcoming me. So uh, we last met at uh, DSCI last year where you unveiled this uh, Arctic Frigate design. Uh, you are proposing this for the Tetis class uh, replacement uh, here in uh, Denmark. Uh, so today uh, at Delo Industry Days 2024, what is the, the situation with this uh, program and uh, what is the latest with your design? The, the latest thing we have done with the design is that we have uh, done the power prediction, we have done uh, the concept for the uh, propulsion system and, and for the energy pro uh, production in, in, in the vessel. And then we have uh, worked on the mission bay uh, design in the aft end of uh, the ship. Can you remind our audience uh, the key specifications of the, of the design? So it's a, it's a frigate but it's meant to go uh, in, uh, Arctic, in the Arctic and uh, it can uh, break ice. Yes, uh, the, the, it's a 125 meter uh, Arctic frigate. It's a replacement for the Danish teachers class that are doing uh, Coast Guard duties uh, around uh, Greenland. But it's uh, with enhanced self-defense, it's with a better surveillance suite and, and a, a, a mission modularity built into the ship. And then it's a, a slightly bigger ship so it's, uh, it, it can uh, transport uh, the Danish readiness force that are supposed to be uh, able to uh, be uh, employed in, in, in the Arctic. I see uh, the design is much more maybe rugged and uh, weaponized compared to the in-service uh, Thetis class. Do you uh, anticipate this to be uh, one of the requirements of this uh, future class of ship? I, I think modularity is one of, will be one of the requirements, but I also think that the situation we have, in, in the strategic situation in the world, and especially in the Arctic, will require that we will be able to have uh, more weapons uh, on the ships in the Arctic, and that's why we've done it. But it's also because that we've seen in the latest year that the increase in the security situation maybe demands that your vessels can be uh, change their their role if if you are doing coast guard duties in the arctic uh, then you can now uh, take the ship home educate the crew and put missiles on it they might not have to have missiles in the, when when they are operating uh, on the daily basis in arctic but it's much faster to educate a crew than it is to build a new ship and educate a crew indeed and uh, so Everybody knows uh, the Danes are pioneers in terms of uh, modularity. Uh, they started with the Stanfleck concept. Uh, now there's uh, the Cube concept by uh, SH Defense. Here it's showing so modules, for example, with uh, what is this like loitering ammunition maybe and a decoy launcher as the module. Yeah, actually the modules here are provided by SH Defense, and uh, and it's it's not like we have a uh, have put a lot of thoughts in what kind of modules uh, we have shipped. We have tried to make the, the, the ship uh, able to handle as many modules uh, in the future, uh, both because we don't know the exact requirements for the name, but also because we don't, wouldn't, wouldn't know the future. We don't know what's going to happen in 35 years. Approximately how many modules could the design uh, accommodate? We, we, we can accommodate uh, eight modules in, in the mission bay plus two big uh, USVs. And, and, and then in the, in the center mission bay we will also be able to, to handle uh, approximately 12 uh, uh, modules. Okay. Uh, lastly, Lars, is this uh, design uh, scalable or part of a family? Yeah, actually it is. It wasn't meant to be, <laughs> but, but, but we have already uh, worked together with the maritime cluster in Lithuania producing a patrol vessel and it's, it's actually using the same concept. The mission bay in the aft end of the ship is approximately the same and you can see it here in the background. It's, it's without a helicopter hangar, it's 88 meters in the length, but basically it's actually using the same uh, concept uh, as, as the Arctic frigate. So it is scalable. Lars, thank you very much. Thank you.